Hey guys, welcome back to The Game Replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Final Fantasy VII Remake for the Sony PlayStation 4. This is going to be a complete walkthrough with commentary. Plus, I would like to mention that I do not talk during the cutscenes. A lot of my, you know, old subscribers know that, but hey man, you could be passing my channel by and wondering, who's this guy? What's this guy's story? What's, uh, how's his setup? How does he do things? All right, man, so the date is April 11th, 2020. The official release date was April 10th, 2020. <laughs> uh, also, the other release dates were, gee, I don't know, man. This game was released during a pretty crazy time in the world, as we all know. Hey, I don't know, man, maybe you're watching this walkthrough of mine 10 years from now. Well, let me tell you, 10 years from now, people watching, uh, the world is going through a bit of craziness right now, kind of a pandemic. I'm not going to get into all that too much, but you know, it's pretty crazy and it's pretty tough. And uh, well, we don't have sports to keep our minds off things right now, but you know what we do have? We have video games and movies and media, that kind of stuff, right? You know, we all have our stories and we all have things going on in our lives. For me personally, I actually do work uh, in the healthcare field, and uh, I've been actually putting in a lot of extra hours lately, and it's been crazy. For those of you who know me, you know I like to get a little personal in my uh, my walkthroughs, talk about myself, my past experiences in video games, and I don't know, just other various parts of my life, you know, because that's how I roll, baby. So you know, if you're new to my channel, well, get <laughs> brace yourself for that. I will say, um, by the way, I think I set this up, the settings and the gameplay and the audio and camera and language, all that stuff, uh, to my appropriate uh, settings, stuff I like. Actually, you know what? I'm going to turn the brightness up. I'm going to go midway. I'm going to go to five. What else did I change, by the way? Um, I put the minimap on dynamic. I hate the other style. I did play the, uh, um, the demo, by the way. I recorded the demo. Everything else, uh, difficulty, you know, uh, normal. Camera and controls, uh, I set the camera distance out of battle and in battle to two. The default, I believe, is one, right? So I'm going with two. Well, let's see, everything else, I think I left alone. I, let's see, I think this is how I roll. Horizontal camera controls, I have normal, but I inverted the vertical camera controls because I guess I'm crazy or something, I don't know. I could have sworn that this used to be the norm in some way. Some, somewhere along the way, they, they changed things. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know what happened to me, man. Ho-ho! <laughs> yeah! Final Fantasy VII Remake. Can you believe this day is finally here? So audio and language, all good. So yeah, guys. Um, man, I can't, this game came out yesterday. I got it yesterday, and I didn't play it. I was too busy working, uh, what was it? I, I worked a 14-hour shift, uh, shift, straight. It was just crazy, dude. But here, here's the thing. I, I was okay with it because I knew I had, get this, I have four days off. I was going crazy with the workload, man. But I have four days off in a row, I hope. I hope I don't get a call from work. <laughs> but anyway, um... Four days off, you know what that means? We're gonna be playing a lot of Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm gonna start a new game, and it's go time, guys. One final thing I wanna say. Ever since I recorded the demo, you know, I haven't touched the game since. I have not gone through the demo again. So, whew, let's see what I remember, okay? I, I, I have not had any time to practice. It's go time. Oh, I just did this. Um, camera controls. What camera controls would you like to... I just did this, thank you. It was right here, so I'm gonna invert the y-axis. We're gonna go, uh, we have classic, easy, and normal. I'm gonna go with normal for the difficulty. I think that's the way to go, man. Can't believe this day finally came.
Get down here, Merc. Chapter 1, The Destruction of Mako Reactor 1. Oh, yeah. Controls are how I like them indeed. I did it correctly. Hi, Barrett. How are you? Okay. Good stuff. We got our paws. I can't, oh, can't even get to the menu yet. Let's do it. Come on, dude. Halt! Who goes there? You're up. <clears throat> Who goes there is Cloud Strife. Okay, guys, basically, this first part's kind of going to be the uh, demo again, isn't it? Basics of battle, you know, squares attacking, hold square to unleash an attack capable of hitting multiple nearby enemies. You're coming with us. Nice and easy. Don't think so. Basically, guys, I think I decided on how I'm going to be doing this walkthrough would be uh, to do about an hour in our uh, kind of part format, so basically an hour of video, give or take, you know? I also decided a while back, I thought it would be best to not do a webcam walkthrough uh, the first time around, you know? I mean, this is a new game, this is Final Fantasy VII Remake, this is uh, pretty hardcore stuff here, man, this is exciting. And if you're watching this, you know, you're here to see the game, of course, and I mean, if you're sticking around, obviously you like my commentary well enough, so, you know, have my commentary, have the game itself, and, uh, next time, you know? Then <laughs> there will, of course, there'll be a next time. I'll record this again, and we'll do a webcam. So, guys, this is Cloud. He's voiced by Cody Christensen this time around. I gotta tell you, I'm a big fan of the, uh, voice cast. We also heard Barrett talk, uh, briefly. Barrett's voiced by John Eric Bentley, and we'll get in the Barrett here and there along the way. I gotta tell you, I don't mind Barrett. I don't mind his voice. Who in the hell? Hands where I can see him. Have fun. Jesse is uh, voiced by Erica Lindbeck. I believe that's uh, how you pronounce her name. Anyway. We got the ATB gauge. You want to fill that gauge, man. Once that bar is full, your character can perform special, special Freeze. tasks. So, what do we do? go ahead. So here's the thing. We'll see if uh, I'm rusty again. When I was playing the demo, I actually died during the uh, first boss encounter. Let's see if I can do better this time. You can expend ATB gauge, uh, faster performing commands, uh, using abilities, magic items. Okay. And you know, I'm gonna read that stuff a little bit, but you know, we'll, I'm gonna kind of, yeah. Ability specials, or spells, I should say. We got Punisher Mode. Punisher Mode is actually pretty, as I recall, from the demo. Punisher Mode is gonna be a pretty handy thing. I mean, these dudes, whatever. Was never in doubt. But, uh, boss battle? Oh man, it's Punisher Mode time. Checking data out of battle. Main menu, uh, map. When not in battle, you can check the map. Open menus, various kinds of information. Using the options button, main menu, press the uh, touchpad. Have access to various, uh, to see objectives. Okay. Uh, when the little uh, arrow icon appears, move your character close to something, you automatically jumps or crouches, perform an action. Drop the weapon! You got this. Yeah, what he said. By the way, that's uh, Biggs and Wedge right there. Biggs voiced by, how do you pronounce it? Gideon, uh, Gideon Emery? You might know that name or that voice might be familiar. Dude, that's Balthier from FF12, uh, among other voices, man. Uh, and Wedge voiced by Matt Jones. Dude, Matt Jones, come on. Breaking Bad, Badger among other things. Anyway, guarding and evading. You can defend against uh, enemy attacks by pressing the R1 to guard or the uh, circle to evade. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to do this because this stuff is important. Guarding and evading is important. Uh, successful guard reduces the amount of damage suffered and also charges your ATB gauge. So, yeah, we'll see if I struggle with this at first, but, yeah, man, we gotta get good at it. Gotta get good! Gotta get good at it. Alright. So, evade, evade, evade. Guard. 
try harder. Guard it! Attack! I see burst fired. Do I remember seeing those words? Bur you see that on the screen, left or right side? I'm waiting. Here. Say burst fire. Do your little burst fire attack on me. Come on. Like, do I know it's coming? Hmm. Interesting how it's not happening. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Oh! The second I let it down. Okay, just finish him off. Just kind of playing around there. I was kind of... I was, I was seeing their attacks on the screen there. Burst attack. That wasn't mine. That was from them, I believe. Anyway, just trying to pay attention. Where's that poster of that beverage from... Uh, Was it Clear Icicle? Maybe. I could have sworn it was another one with that chick on it. I do not want to miss any potions because <laughs> regardless of how I do here, I definitely want potions for this upcoming boss battle. Let me tell you. Where is she? Maybe it's further on. How's the lighting, by the way? I gotta tell you, I'm gonna... From the main menu, you can view your inventory, game, play, status, as well as save, uh, save, load game. Okay, battle settings. All right, shortcuts. We're gonna get into that, aren't we? Enemy intel. Security officer. Are you gonna load? Thanks, dude. Hey, Square, come on. Or should I say, hey, PS4? Let's go. <laughs> That's cool. Spells. There's my fire. My inventory with, like, potions. Wow! There you are. You bust your sword. Bronze bangle. And my status is... Manual. Basics. Infield battle. Other features. I wonder what we can learn. Save, load, and the system. Options. Oh, dude, I don't think I put in my DLC codes yet. I got the uh, Mega... Mega bonus big crazy edition that cost uh, ten thousand dollars. So DLC is it ready to go? Select additional content and input any codes. Additional content required. Yeah, I gotta. Yeah, I got some time. I'm sure, I can't. Oh, we don't wanna. No, no, no. Don't wanna go to the title. Okay, let's. Uh, I definitely want everything that was in the demo to be in this first part. And maybe then some. So, let's get going. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try, it's really hard for me, to get the show on the road here. Interacting with the world, use the uh, triangle button, that's triangle, to open up doors and chests and stuff. You got it, dude. Oh! <laughs> you know why, though? It's such a, it's a force of habit. I did it again. That is such a force of habit. You know I'm I'm not the only one doing that. Hitting the X button every time. Oh yeah, run. How do we run faster? You can hold down the left uh, the left stick axes and what was it? L? No, no. R? I think it's R1 to run too. I kind of like R1. Yeah, R1. Destroying objects. If you see stuff, hit the uh, square button. You smash it with your sword, brah. They may contain useful items, such as potions that restore HP, or uh, Mako shards that, rest that restore MP, yeah. Um, so when there, wasn't there something over here? Yeah, so I kind of like that combo of holding down R1, and then uh, switching the, like, the square button to kind of, like, here. And... Wah! There's my shard. Okay. Still kind of... I turn the brightness on it, and it still looks dark to me. To me. System. Options. Um, gameplay. Oh, brightness is back at 2. Yeah, you see? Let's see 10, ready? That's a little... I will say that's... I wish I could uh, rotate the uh, camera angle here when I was... When I'm doing this. Ooh, man, see, I got used to 10 there. Now, 5 looked dark to me. I'm gonna go with 6, man. I really am. 2, in my opinion, is really too dark. Hmm. If it's too bright, 
it kind of messes up Cloud's hair a little more. Maybe it's a little too bright. What do you guys think? I'm gonna put it... I'm gonna put it to five, like I originally intended. I'm going with five, and that's the bottom line, guys. All right. So what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, real joy to work with, though. Real joy to look at, too. You'll keep us safe, we go. right, Cloud? Looks are what people notice first. Oh, because I'm not on the same page. almost got the people. door. I'd say you're not even reading the same book. Enough. We're done here. Or even the same... Give it a rest. I really like the scroll right there on the, uh, on the side of the screen with the dialogue, you know? I really like that a lot. We're doing this. We're really doing it. Man, I think I'm gonna be sick. Because, you know, like, I'm talking to Wedge here, and yet they're having their side conversation with each other. You'll keep us safe, right, Cloud? Oh, so it's kind of like me talking right now, and you can see that at the side of the screen. Barrett, where, where'd you go? Hey, buddy. How you doing, Mr. Grumpy? Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? <laughs> Which? Uh... You better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. <laughs> There's that iconic, uh... Oh, okay. Infiltrate the reactor. The iconic shot of Cloud standing in front of uh, the main Midgar building. And Barrett, by the way, why do you have your sunglasses on? You see that? I don't know why he has his sunglasses on. Locking on the targets. You can uh, press R3 to lock onto a specific target. Press. R3 again to unlock. While locked onto a target, you can use your uh, right stick axes or left and right on the directional pad to switch between multiple targets. Get Wonder him, how useful I'm gonna. I think that is. Guess you're first. Locked on. Let's get this over with. That'll do. Punisher mode there. Locking on, okay. Got it. That's that. Ooh! That's the first stagger of the game. And my last. No, I kid. Oh, you know what? When you stagger Punisher mode, that's what you want to do, I believe. This won't take long. I think. Although, I don't know. Nothing to it. As always, I'm gonna have to, you know, practice makes perfect and all that shit. So, oh, hi up there. Hey, Cloud! Elevator's over there! Catch up soon! Thanks, bro. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey guys, I know this game's been out for a long time. Well, the original version is. But, let me say it now, I should have said this way early on. Let's try and avoid spoilers as much as we can. 
if you know what I mean. Therefore, I think a good rule for all of us is, okay, what happens in this part can be talked about in this part. Maybe something happens uh, two hours from now, and some of you know that. Well, the people watching this video, and, you know, right here, right now, let's just assume they only know this part. I think that's a good way to play. People that watch my vids are pretty respectful, so... This way. I don't know, man. I think we uh, have done a good job in our society in the last couple years, being more uh, self-aware and respectful of uh, spoiler alerts and all that stuff, you know? <laughs> Not so fast. We've got company. Job's a job. I haven't used any ability stuff yet. I don't feel the need to... Uh... Oh, watch your health! Yeah, right. Be sure to use potions, healing spells to regenerate HP, because the game ends when the uh, HP reaches zero. You know, unlike the typical negative 60. And I am in the red. Last long. Try me. You know, I believe the ATB gauge fills up faster. That's how you stagger. Let's get this way. Let's do I'm gonna do the punisher mode then. I mean when you stagger, you wanna use your like ATB strong strong attack. Do that strong attack actually. Oh, you know what? Uh, hold on, I think I've been hitting my X, uh, my uh, triangle button a little bit too much, actually. Yeah, you gotta get into that mode, then you strong attack. If I remember right. <clears throat> Tasty. I like that map in the upper right screen way better than the, um, than the default map, actually. I don't know about you guys, but come on, that's way better, and it's not like it takes up a lot of room. 100 and 190, uh, yada yada. Ticking down. Get that to zero. Reach your destination. Switch to Punisher mode and strong attack. <clears throat> yeah, bitch. Let's go. Okay. Eh, actually, I am gonna try and keep this down to. Then again, you know, if I'm cursing and Barrett's in the game saying the word shit, then I don't. I kind of don't understand. I was, uh, I don't know, I was thinking maybe I have to be a little self-conscious about YouTube and all that, but, like, yeah, you got Barrett saying shit, and then I'm supposed to watch my language? <laughs> Okie dokie. Hmm. Is that it? Uh, okay. See, I'm really worried. I am worried about that boss battle, man. We gotta do good. Oh. Hold. I wasn't looking. <laughs> ah, yes. See you later. Come on, Cloud. Pick up the pace. That's a long fall. Hi, buddy. You'll keep us safe, right, Cloud? I'll secure our escape route, okay? You go on and catch up with the others. Keep them safe, please. Don't worry about me. Go. I'll secure our escape route, okay? Oh, Matt Jones. Matt Jones, you are such a wedge. Great casting. A lot of people kind of bummed and upset about the new uh, casting decision. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs, too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako storage? <clears throat> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <clears throat> Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this. But I'll manage. Don't 
Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. In three, two... Damn, I'm good. Who's there? Door! Oh, wait! It's over! That's my line. Cloud, when was that ever your line? Cloud's unique ability, switching modes. Every character has a unique ability, which you can activate with the triangle button. With Cloud's mode shift ability, you can switch between his balanced operator mode and his attack-oriented punisher mode. Try it out. He's alone! Punisher mode. Uh, punisher mode Cloud is slower, but more powerful attack. In addition, Cloud launches a counter, uh, counter blow every time he guards against an enemy. So you gotta be in that mode and guard, and then you can counter. He cannot, however, guard against uh, ranged attacks or magic, so uh, when you evade such attacks, you will switch back to operator mode. Good stuff. We can take him. Make it rain. Bring it. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I don't even, uh, all right. We good? Nope. Now we're good. I think. Kinda. Oh wait, there's two dudes. Oh, that's my friends. He always knows just what to say. Cut it out. I got this place covered. Jesse! You uh you need to get it in. Damn boxes. It's cool how you can really just hit about everything. Hoo! Don't forget to hit those boxes along the way, man. Let me tell you. We'll see how fast this game becomes second nature to me. Uh, as far as controls well, go. What are you waiting for? You know. I got this place covered. Can't talk to you? Simmer down, hot shot. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. <sighs> Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? Huh. And we're good. Careful in there. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Biggs, what kind of place covered? pants or shorts are those, by the way? Uh, I don't recall in the original if... I don't know. But yeah, I mean, they all look spot on. It's really, I think we can all agree, it's what we, it's what we imagined, envisioned. It really is. Do I have to touch it or does it just kind of come to me? Security is only gonna get tighter, so be ready. We can't afford any more mistakes. Security is only going to get tighter. So oh, I can ready. stop with another push of the triangle. That's good. Looks like the elevator's on another floor. Mind pushing that button? Prohibited items. Flammable substances. Toxic. Farts from Dave's ass. Okay. Looks like the elevator's on another floor. Mind pushing that button? Mind pushing that button? You gotta get close to stuff to uh, activate it, don't you? So, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? Tifa and I.
These sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. <laughs> this pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you shit, it's here sucking up Marco. It doesn't rest and it doesn't care. You do realize what Marco is, don't you? Marco uh, is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do. Get help. <laughs> Say that again! <clears throat> I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. Our lives are on the line now. Listening, Merc. One false move. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. <laughs> just bear with him for me, would you? <sighs> yeah. Should have asked for more money. <laughs> Barrett Wallace has joined the party. Good stuff. Barrett's strengths. Barrett specializes in ranged attacks, holding down the square uh, button. Releases a sustained burst of automatic fire when equipped with a ranged weapon. Barrett can fire from safe locations, hit enemies that Cloud cannot reach with a sword. Oh yeah. Sword, Adam. Let the man with the gun go to work. These tin cans ain't got nothing on me. I'm just kidding. He's got his overdrive. Boo, yeah! And there it is, uh, overcharge. Press the triangle while in control of Barrett to deliver heavy hit and stuff. Uh, uses ATB gauge once at least. It takes a long time to recharge his attack press in the triangle button, however, will speed up the process. Now for the real mm, yeah, hoo -ah! And hoo -ah. Okay. Hurry up! I got my overcharge. So, I mean, Cloud, I, guess I could switch to Cloud with L2 and kind of do, like, a spell. Or, no, I was, yeah, stay, stay with Barrett. <clears throat> so that's good, right? Shoot him, dude. Oh, ATB. Hurry up. Hey, no thing. Switching characters, you can switch to different characters. L2, uh, R2. Yep. <clears throat> I know. Thank you. Shut up and move over. I wonder how often I'm gonna start <clears throat> switching the characters. A lot during battle. I mean, I with like little dudes like this guy. I'm not sure, <clears throat> but uh, when we get to big, uh, big heavy hitters. Anyway, going back to the cutscenes. Where am I? I should go down the stairs. But hold on, I'm gonna kind of see if there's anything that to acquire from these boxes and crates. Where to start? Going back to the cutscene. Was that an extra insert? Um, of Cloud uh, kind of flashing back there to Nibelheim with a uh, young girl Tifa there. Do I not recall that in the demo? 
And we also saw President Shinra and uh, Heidegger there in the uh, cutscene up in the Shinra HQ. By the way, guys, well, President Shinra didn't really speak, but you know who did speak? Heidegger. You know who voices Heidegger? A Final Fantasy heavy hitter, yeah? That's John DiMaggio. Waka, Kamari. Come on! Look what we have here. The laser security system. Great. Those things will hurt more than your pride if you're careless. They'll cut you down to size and then some. But I'm guessing you've done this kind of thing before. Yeah. Figure out the timing of the lasers. Then, make a move when they cycle off. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Hey! Just keep those baby blues of yours on me! Dashing. You can quickly move by uh, holding R1. Or R2 to dash. Hmm. Or you can uh, hold down the L3. So yeah, R1. Is it faster? Let's do it. Let's see if I can get through without getting hit. <clears throat> Let's do it. He's a natural. So if I get hit, Jesse will say certain things. If I don't, he'll say other certain things. Of course. How, how much do I have to beat the crap out of these boxes? I know. Ah, yes, I am great, aren't I? <sighs> oh boy, okay, <laughs> I did. Jesse needs it bad. Is that gonna go to me? No, uh, no, I got that, okay. It did say picked it up. So is that it? That was pretty tough. Actually, it was. I remember I got hit like a bunch of times in the demo. Uh... Oh, I forgot there is more. Ooh! Oh, no, it got me. <laughs> I got hit. Man. I don't know, man. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, crap. Alright, so I got hit twice! Leave me alone! That's the rule of the three strikes and all, eh? I'm cool. Hi, Barrett, how are you? Phew. Well, I'm glad that's over with. And we're almost at our objective. Look. They don't call those things sweepers for nothing. They can wipe out a whole squad in seconds. Not if you wipe the floor with them first. Okay, let's do it. Ah, we can take this hunk of junk! That hunk of junk is a heavy weapons platform. If we rush in, we die. Is that right? Need to hit it with magic. That should give us an opening. Okay, man, and I was about to heal up with a potion before I uh, walked out of the stairs, kind of. <clears throat> Bring it. What a okay. Oh, the potion was too late. Man, that's a that's a real bummer, actually. Do I even okay? That really does kind of suck there. A little disappointed. Okay, so revive, and then maybe I can give him a potion immediately. We still got a job to do. Need to heal up. Yeah, thought so. Staggering enemy. Sitting an enemy. With certain attacks, uh, man, we know this. Dealing large amounts of damage will temporarily knock and off-balance and 
and pressured will appear underneath their gauge. Uh, when this happens, pelt them with spells and abilities to quickly fill their stagger gauge under their life bar. Once it's full, you can stagger them. The gauge fills faster depending on the abilities of magic used, as well as the foe's, uh, the foe's vulnerabilities. Find the most effective magic to quickly finish an enemy off. Most likely fire right now. <clears throat> so, okay. Hey! It's not moving! Let's put it down. <laughs> hey! Give it all you've got. Sometimes I kind of, okay, dodging, sometimes I forget what the uh, block button is, I must say. Of course, it just had to get back up. Can we knock it down again? No time to complain. Maybe Thunder, actually. It is, um, it's a Machina, right? Let's do this. Got him pressured. Got him staggered. Staggered foes. <clears throat> Enemies who've been staggered are defenseless and take more damage. Using uh, unique abilities on a staggered foe will quickly boost your ATB gauge. So, I like that. Boost your ATB gauge quickly so you can unleash more abilities and spells. Now's so, our chance. Go. Don't need to tell me twice. I'm going to enjoy this. Yeah, abilities. Focus threat. Lun lunge toward an enemy with a piercing strike that hits... Uh, multiple times significantly increases stagger. Braver. Let's do that. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, abilities. Uh, steel skin temporarily reduces damage taken in. Nah. Focus shot. Consume all ATB charge uh, charges to unleash a concentrated burst of energy. And it increases stagger. Oh crap. Let's do that. <clears throat> no escape. What are you? Twenty something? First. Huh? Soldier first class. Doesn't go into the twenties. The hell are you talking about? I mean your age, not your goddamn rank. I uh, so for all I know, a soldier's rank could be the same as his age. Mm-hmm. Guess that make you a one-year-old, huh? Live and learn! Okay, man. So, yeah. Use your items out of battle. Seriously. Uh... I'm gonna... Get, get set up now. Like, don't worry about ATBs and all that right now. A lot of people... We have some... <laughs> We have a little criticism on how we have to use an ATB, you know, portion uh, to use a potion or an item, you know, any kind of item uses ATB and that kind of sucks. But I guess we'll live to, to deal with it. I don't know, maybe we'll grow accustomed to it and learn to like it. I don't want to almost see my... I, I wish I could see the stats at all time in the bottom right. That's our target. The reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. Let's get down there. Hey guys, if there's a way in the options menu to see Barrett and Cloud's HP and their stats and all that stuff down there at all times, I'm saying. Let me know in the comments, please. Because it goes away, and I actually, you know, it doesn't bug me. I want to see it. I don't know. Just want to be able to see it. Is that weird? Wow, look at this place. Woo. Oh, man. And the way, wow. The camera angles are just pretty damn good. You know, like, think about so many other games. When you're on a ladder and you're kind of spinning around, that gets messed up. You know what I'm talking yeah. about. I can practically taste the Marco in here. Hurry it up. Yeah, so I think I'm thinking back to some of the Final Fantasy 13 games. Multiple. Uh where you have to not only like break something apart, but then touch it after. I don't think uh that's the case in this. Scared, huh? <laughs> More like excited. I've been dreaming about. 
about this for years. I'm gonna do my best to get every ounce of dialogue out of this game. Because if you know me, guys, and for those of you who don't, I'll say it now. I like to talk to everyone, including NPCs. Oh wow, it just dawned on me. Am I gonna be reading NPC dialogue? That's big. Final Fantasy X, back in the day, did a pretty good job with NPCs. I mean, sure, there were a lot of NPCs where uh, you would have to read the dialogue yourself. There was no audio, no like voice actor reading the lines. But FF10 2, in my opinion, took a step back. And I don't think they rebounded quite well with the Final Fantasy XIII series. I think Final Fantasy XV. The end's in sight. I leave the rest in your capable hands. Good luck. I believe Final Fantasy XV did a pretty decent job in that regard. I gotta tell you, I have not played that game since I beat it. Not that way. Down the ladder, dummy. <sighs> well, I kind of wanted to go over there just because, but. Oh, you're choosing me over the reactor? That's sweet, but I'll wait my turn. Go blow her mind. Go on, shoo. Wonder if I can talk to Barrett at any given time too. There's a view right there. There's Barrett's ass. No comment. <laughs> oh! -ho! Hey, look, still going down with that view. Ah, oh, it's just so cool. Oop, okay, it gets a little weird down there. Oh. <laughs> Step off. Give it a sec. Take your hand off the controller. All right, here we go. <laughs> I hit the touchpad by accident. Which you should probably do. Um, weaknesses... Question mark. Oh, cool. Toggle data. Oh, come on. You couldn't have the abilities on the same screen. Eh, whatever. Wait, oh, you know what? I want to go back to that. L1 icon key. Huh. Okay. That's cool. That's very useful. Like, what is that? What is that fire icon? What does that mean? Oh, that's fire. Oh wow, he can jump over there, that's nice. Yeah. Crap, how do I, uh, I mean, there's nothing Cloud can kind of do except for Burn. switch to Barret. I didn't even know he was up there. Well, I just pushed, I tapped the uh, R3 button thinking a cursor would pop out showing me the way. Because that's a lot of games. <laughs> Honestly. If we fell in, we sink right down to the bottom. To the planet's core. No. The pump would suck us back up. <laughs> How comforting. Don't fall in there, you'll become the next Joker. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, I gotta remember, R1 is blocked. I forgot for a couple minutes. I don't know, man. Talk to you, Barrett. Come on, Barrett. Nope, nothing. All right, nothing over here. Actually, um, yeah. Let's heal up. <laughs> oh boy. Hope I have enough potions. Wow. Like not an hour into the game, and I'm already uh, over a thousand HP with some characters. Then again. 
Oren, you were the same in Final Fantasy X, weren't you? So here we are down at the core of the Mako Reactor number one. Good stuff. Settle down, boy, and take off those damn sunglasses. Okay. This is the big one. Let's see if I can do this, at least better than my uh, first demo attempt. You guys ready? Can I, can I save at any time, by the way? I, honestly, it might be a good idea. Oh, look at that. Oh, an autosave. I like that. And I also like how I don't need... Although I will miss it. I will miss that save uh, icon from FF, the original FF7. I really will. E you know, even back in like uh, like FF13s, in those games, you needed to be at like an object to save. And it's annoying. That was well outdated by that point, it really was. In FF13, you should have been able to save like this at any time. They finally started to catch on though, Square Enix. There he is. Hello. Okay. <laughs> My HP. Ooh. Ooh. And wait. Uh. Okay, I'm about to freak out here. Tell me I'm not the first person to make that mistake. You guys know what I just did. I didn't go up. Black is what you want, not blue. Or, or is it? See, now I don't know anymore because they're, oh, that's an empty slot. No, blue is what you want, not black! How about that? I am just going to continue on. I'm not going to dwell on it. <laughs> I'm not dwelling on it. Punisher mode. But, you know what? Strong attack. I'm holding down the R1 button, which I assume will kind of have me in a block, right? Hey, it's not moving. Got him pressured. Give it all you've got. Deal with that. I switched to Barrett. Take it over. Of course, it just had to get back up. So we knock it down again. No time to complain. Staggered. Now's our chance. Go. Don't even tell me twice. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm doing a little better this time, though, right? Yeah. Uh, abilities. Focus shot. Yeah. No Punisher mode, sometimes I switch. hoo -ah! Hey, I gotta tell you, that went better, didn't it? So I'm a one-year-old. I do really like the dialogue, the added dialogue with Barrett and Cloud. I think I have a battle here, and then I go back down the staircases. So you know what? I suppose it's not that much of a, an annoyance. I would be interested in knowing if anyone else just did what I did. Because... The reactor core. I wonder if I can skip the cutscenes. Skip cutscenes. How about that? I am a little, you know, I'm, I'm honestly curious, and also it would make me feel better if I wasn't the only one who uh, accidentally did that. Can I climb down the, oh yeah, I forgot. I can practically take you can climb down the ladders faster. So yeah, I guess that just cost me two battles. Scared, huh? More like excited. I've been dreaming about this for years. Because I was, I was confused. I saw an enemy, and I was like, wait, oh, there's the boss. And I was like, wait, that's not the boss. That's not the dude. <clears throat> 
And then I was like, also, my HP. Oh, you're choosing me over the reactor? That's sweet, but I'll wait my turn. Go blow her mind. Okay. I was like, wait, what happened to my HP? I just healed. And then it dawned on me. And then it dawned on me. Okay. <laughs> They've got time for us. Anytime now. <laughs> I don't feel the necessary need to switch, uh... Get him! <clears throat> there we go. Take the lead. Yes, it's my turn. Switch between characters too often. Eh. See ya. Sweet. Going down. Trying to plow through these guys again real fast, which I think I'm doing a Try me. decent job in doing. No escape. Good stuff. How about that? that Actually, I kind of like how I like how R1 is run and um, block because when you run into the battles, it's kind of like. Uh, you kind of want block around anyway, and you're always going to want to be running most of the time, I would think. So, that's kind of like a good combo to have. Okay, everybody, back to where I was. The core. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Back to the core. And I was going to save. So, I'm going to heal up, and I actually am going to save. Blue is what you want. Must have went down. Yeah. Empty. Okay. I'm scared. Empty slot. That's what I want. Thank you. If there was something to read there when I was loading, I must have not caught it. All right. Cool. So there we go. Forty-four minutes. Or Forty-five, basically. All right, guys. Let's do it. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see how this goes. Set that bomb. All right, let's see if Little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Go on, do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the damn job! Fine. What about the timer? Your call, Merc. 20 minutes or 30 minutes? Now, I do believe I recall reading that in the demo, choosing 20 or 30 would change a couple, you know, extra little snippets of scenes in the, uh, the end of the demo. Um, but this isn't the demo. Still, I'm going to choose 20. Pretty cocky, ain't you? Heads up! What in the hell? Hey, how the hell do we fight this thing? It's got reinforced armor plating, but the internals can be overloaded. Lightning magic. Huh. No other option, huh? Lightning magic. Okay, so I'm gonna try and I'm gonna be quick and slow at the same time. If that makes sense. Lightning magic. Well, what about fire magic, though? Or should I just concentrate on? Oh, he's 
locked onto me. If I move like this, well, that I forget how I. I don't know. Here we go. Ooh. Pressured. Ooh, yes, bitch. Okay, let's get back to it. I'll do a little fire too, though. Oh, no, no, no. Sometimes I switch out of Punisher mode there. How to do this? Oh, I lost his. Uh... I almost had him staggered, but maybe this is just part of it here. A barrier? Never seen this defense system before. Exactly. Thought you were the expert. So what's your brilliant plan, genius? That'll do. Huh? You running out on me? Right. Um, <laughs> it's my time to shine. Now this is what I need to get back here. Lock. I'm locked onto the field generator. Right on. Nice drop, dumbass. Frontal assault's no good. Which is his weak spot. There. Attack it from the rear. <laughs> That's definitely what. Show me what you got. Waiting for that thunder. Definitely what I got to work on here. Now, hit it hard and fast. Oh, you're in for it now. Just shoot. Won't last long. Need my help, do you? Damn, why can't I use an item? Oh, Barrett. Good. Nice. Hurry up. Damn pain in the air. I really would like to get this guy staggered sooner than later, man. And I forget, should I use my abilities? No, I believe I should use my abilities once I get him staggered. Until then, don't just fight. Attack. I almost got him. Oh no, no, no. Got him. Time to also heal up. Uh, I'll go with you, Barrett. Strike now before it fires again. Oh, bad time for that. Damn it. Not staggered anymore, also. Um. What was it? Oh, man. That's gonna be a reoccurring problem with me. Hit that touchpad again. We gotta memorize the attack pattern. Come on. Limit breaks. Taking damage and staggering enemies fills your limit gauge. When the gauge is full, you can use limit breaks, which are extremely uh, powerful attacks. You do not need to spend ATB charges to use these attacks. I'll end this. 
switch them. Punisher mode. <clears throat> oh, I swear I let go of the. If I'm blocking and that I happens, know. I should be okay. <clears throat> Don't overdo it. Baby, I don't have this guy right where I want him. I mean, his life is down there, but I need to get him staggered again. Pressure. Oh, crap. <laughs> I got him. Definitely better than the demo. All right. Very happy. Showed you how it's done. Come on, we've got to move. Yeah, might want to get out of here. I don't know, man. What's the difference between holding R1 and R2? <clears throat> and yes, I know there's a timer. I better not. I better not dilly dally, shilly shally. Ugh, I don't know. Evan Children was okay. Eh. <clears throat> I played a little bit of Crisis Core, but honestly, I uh, I didn't beat it. Some uh, I, a lot of good uh, character additions, and then some like uh, I don't know, Angeal. And, uh, probably the best thing to come out of like Crisis Core or whatever before Crisis, um, <clears throat> Zach, and just how they expanded on his character greatly. But uh, I'm I'm definitely not an expert in regards to talking about that stuff. Concentrate. So yeah, not these dudes, but some some enemies a little bit further down the line like surprised me and gave me a run for uh, my money, my gill. Let's go. My my gill, my gill. All right. So yeah, I was very happy there. Um, Beat that boss, uh, better than the first time. What if I go back this way? <laughs> no. Lighting in this game is incredible. 
The only thing I could say so far, like any kind of critique, is like, the hair is damn good and all. Perhaps it could use a little extra polish. A little fine tuning to the hair graphics. But, uh, man, I, I really can't complain about anything. It's pretty damn incredible. And that opening, did I not, did I forget to talk? So much is always going on, cutscenes and all that. Wow. Uh, but that opening was something else. And yeah, it was different than the original. But it was, it was 99... It was 99.9% .9 perfect. Sure, there's always room for improvement. Hence the point nine. <coughs> That's 17 minutes to get out of here, man. We're running out of time. Shut up and climb. You're not helping. Sorry, it just it keeps me focused. I'll freak out if I don't talk. Have it your way. I like how Barrett's climbing there with one uh, big hand, big arm there, dragging that gun arm behind him. It's funny. That is some quick stuff there. Guess it's my turn. Let's go. The others are waiting. Gotta get the hell out of here, ASAP. I'm not totally I I mean, I'm definitely not in my comfort zone as far as the battle system goes. No, man. I'm gonna need a little I'm gonna need some time, of course. Or magic time summons! Come on! But I'll get there. Dealing with that boss was uh the second time around went a lot better. So I believe this guy. No holding back. I see you. Yeah, shortcuts. See, that's something I gotta <clears throat> utilize <clears throat> a lot better. You know what I mean? It's on you. Switching the Barrett, doing a quick overcharge, you know? Hang back. And he stays in Punisher mode, by the way, when I switch over. Charging. Charging. Switch back. He's still in Punisher mode. Oh, no. Now he's not. Damn. Well, I guess he might be. Better get out of that. Now, you see, I need to... What I'm not doing, I need to use my spells more. See, I gotta get the guy staggered. I believe I'm right. And the first time you hit... Yeah, you hit L2, or R2, immediately you're gonna go to the next person. For some reason, I kind of think uh, that I'm going to stay with Cloud for some reason. Uh, abilities. Now that he's staggered, abilities. That's how you do it, right? Yeah! Okay. Oh, uh, is there another one? We don't have to worry about the lasers, I believe, this time around. Oh, did I not get this? Or Let's get it. Is it the Knights of the Round Materia? No, it's an ether. Some people say ether. It's funny, I used to say ether. And then I switched to ether. Isn't that funny? What do you guys say? What do you guys say? I got this. Oh! Am I hitting someone? I don't even know. Anytime now. I think I am. Get him! Can I get him from... Yeah! There's Braver. Cool. Why not? Limits always get, I think. I think that battle that tripped me up in the demo is coming up. We have time to break some boxes. I think those guys 
It's them! It's them, dude. It's on you. No, no, overcharge. Man, he's quick. These guys are. Whoa! I can't. Even, I got. I can't even keep up with them, dude. Definitely better this time, again. Um, I f Where's my map? I, f I was gonna say I feel lost now. After that battle, I got turned around. I think it's... Th I'm going up the stairs. What happened to my map? More like we'll both be done. Again? Better keep an eye on your HP, by the way, Dave. Remember, please. Let's do this. I'm not locked. Keep it together. Forget how to lock. You got this. I got this. Like that. Let, like, can, like down and up, for instance. Take care of those fools before you bleed out. One of them starting to beat the hell out of me. Still in it. Yes. Okay, that I <laughs> there you go. All right, good. Twelve minutes. We're doing good. I think. I can't remember how much time I had last time. I mean, seriously though, there could be like an item. I don't want to miss it. I don't see a timer, so <laughs> I'll take my time. Can you walk? If I couldn't, believe me, you'd be the first to know. I'll take that as a yes.
one-time gig. Touchpad, analyzing enemies, giving me the tips. That was incredible. And now we are out of the demo, and what I'm about to see, I have never seen before. Looks like we made it. And with nothing but a few scratches to show. <laughs> Think you might have overdone it. I followed the instructions to the letter. Maybe it triggered a reaction with the Mako? Well, let's hope the city's still in one piece. But the planet's what matters, right? <laughs> I mean, this must have helped some. After all that, it had better have. Anyway, let's get going. We in Sector 8? That'd be just down there. All right, then. Lead the way. You got it. Huh. Watch out for live wires. They're everywhere. Ugh. The air in here reeks. Can't wait to get out in the open. Man, what is that? I've never smelled anything so foul. Oh, it's me. Gotta do something about that. And soon. I felt that one in my guts. They just keep on coming. We need to get out of this place. Was it the Mako density? The primary explosive? The blasting agent? Hey, we can figure that out later. <sighs> I'm running on empty here. You can refuel at the base. Next time I'll have to bring a little pick-me-up. There's a chest. How much farther do we have to go? Not far. Better keep my eyes out for chests. You never know what you might pass up. In the original. That's about as good a place as any. Stand back then. I'll set the bomb. In the original, you could Can't miss. Can't wait to see you, Marlene. Can't wait to take a hot shower. <clears throat> In the original, you can miss materia pretty easily sometimes. And once you missed it, it was gone. Wonder what the case is in this game. By the way, you can see Cloud's fire materia in his sword. We all knew that. She's good to go. Fire in the hole! You sure told those doors. Let that be a Let's lesson to anything that gets in my way. <laughs> Ah, oh, my happy little band. What shenanigans are we going to be up to next? Attention all citizens. Attention all citizens. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Unidentified intruders have detonated a bomb inside Mako Reactor 1. Multiple explosions have been confirmed, as well as ongoing fires. In response, a disaster warning has been issued in sectors 1 and 8. Structures in the area are at high risk of collapse, rendering the entire sector hazardous. Therefore, all residents of the city. No, no way. This couldn't have been us, could it? But what if it was? What's done is done. <laughs> Merck's right. It ain't pretty, but we can't stop now. This was just the first reactor, and the planet won't be safe till we get the rest. Yeah, we always knew this was gonna get messy. And this is only the beginning. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Though you may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. But it's okay, cause I'm here for you, to help take the load off your shoulders. Your fears, your worries, your concerns, and yes, your fears. Whatever your problem, I got you. 
So, what's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. We get our asses home! The only thing missing was Biggs jumping out of the door there and running around holding his butt. Unless that's coming up. Why, why did they get rid of that? Man. But, I mean, look at this right here. This is that scene. Taken right there. The building on fire. Us bursting out of the, you know, whatever behind us. The tunnels. Which I guess we can go back. Wait a minute, which way did I... This is a dead end. And this is where I came from. So yeah, guys, that uh, that was something else. I mean, I'm just kind of... While the cutscenes are going on and I'm not talking, I'm just, like, sitting back in awe. You know, this is something else. I'm highly impressed, and I can't believe this day has finally come. I can't believe I'm recording a new major walkthrough on my channel again, honestly. Uh, you know... This isn't 2008 anymore when I started my channel. It's 2020 now. Life is crazy, you know? I can look back through the years. Uh, I, I remember back in 2009 when I first started recording my Final Fantasy VII uh, PlayStation walkthrough. And I remember at the time that being such a big deal to me. Uh, I got a new computer, and that new computer was then capable of running PlayStation emulators and I set it up and everything was like really crispy clear on the emulator and uh, yeah that was a big deal you know I remember in 2010 was it when Final Fantasy 13 came out and at first at first in the first five minutes that was a big deal to me I gotta tell you I'm not a big fan of that game that's why I talk that way uh, anyway that's a side comment guys this game's incredible I am going to be calling it a wrap here and saving not loading see it's default on save and goes to empty slot above which I will do save your progress to that slot good stuff we are in chapter 2 we are in sector 8 and uh, chapter 2 is called fateful encounters good stuff so guys Leave me your comments. Tell me what you think. If you have any tips and tricks and, you know. Honestly, if I miss something, point it out. Let me know, too. Because, um, hell, there could come a time where it's really big. And who knows, man. Maybe I'll go back to a previous save. I'm going to make a lot of saves just in case that happens. So this part is about an hour and a half. I think that's going to be the going rate, guys. You know, uh, an hour, an hour and a half. And, uh, yeah, we're going to dive into this thing. And I'm glad you're here watching. I hope you're here for the whole journey. And I can't wait to play more. But for now, guys, I'm going to call it a wrap right here. If you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up, comment, subscribe, bell notifications, all that crap, guys. If you want to follow me and get to know me a little better and more personal and a little more intimately, you know, you can follow me on my social media. That's in the video description below. I'm Dave the Usher for The Game Replay. And I'll see you guys next time for more Final Fantasy VII Remake. See you guys next time. I am out.